Mike Greetings and salutations, sports fans. Coming to you live tonight from West York Area High School, it's Todd Edwards, Dude Joe's my broadcast partner, and more importantly, sports shooting stars and you, the fans, tuning in tonight for a add-on game. How about it, dude? Yeah, this was a fan-requested game we got this morning. A lot of fans want to hear and want to see this game, so we made it happen. Big shout out to the athletic director at West Shirt for allowing us to come on short notice. It's Wayne we are here. Yep. yep. Uh, but we are here tonight. And, um, should be a really good matchup. West Shirt's undefeated at 10 0. And Sussie comes in here at 5 and 3. Very feisty team. But again, West Shirt has that balanced attack. And as we were told, anybody can be the leading scorer for West Shirt. Yeah. They have a really good team and a, and a deep bench. And you know, Bill Parcells, NFL Hall of Fame coach, said, You are what your record says you are. And in the case of West York, you're undefeated at 10 0 coming in here tonight. And uh, the uh, well, the record speaks for itself. Yeah, and uh, you never really come in one in a perfect season. You want the guys, you know, be there for the long haul. But right now, West Shirk is having a perfect season by being 10 and 0, and they have a lot of targets on their back right now. But I think they're ready for it. It's their year. This team has been playing together for the last couple years, developed a lot of good chemistry, and right now is showing on the varsity level. Yeah, and let's. Reminder viewers at home, some fans to watch, some players to watch for West York. Jane Walker, A.J. Williams, and David McLadry, all players to keep an eye on if you're watching and following the West York Bulldogs. Do I know we know a little bit something about Susquehanna as well. Some players to keep an eye on for Susquehanna. Yeah, Susquehanna, we was uh, at, their, at their game last week against York Suburban when they prevailed at, uh, by three points, but they're led by their 1,000-point scorer, Jalen, I'm sorry, Jalen Franklin, and it's also his brother, Josh Franklin. I'm a Joshua Franklin, so, you know, and they got a lot of uh, nice role players as far as... Uh, Mufed Arawano, a, a, a player to keep an eye on the underneath. Chase coach. Roberts, uh, Joey Smith had a good game last, last time we saw him, so they're led by a really good, solid team, and it should be a battle of both teams going at it. Yeah, and want to thank our sponsors for allowing this to happen tonight, and a new sponsor as well. How about it? The Viking Club right here, not too far away from West York. High school, Viking Club, along with Integrity First Home Buyers. We also have, we saw Jesse Ferber from Prestige Motor Cars. And how about, let's not forget S3 Performance Training. Also, Parma's Pizza of Dallas Town. Pizza's so great, you'll Thanks. scrape your plate. Uh, did I forget any other sponsors, too? Uh, no, I think you ran it down pretty well. As you said, the Viking Club, uh, located right here in, uh, in West Shirt, right Short. down the street. Uh, they were interested in this game tonight, so you know they're watching from you know where they're at as well. So shout out to them. The Viking Club is an American sports bar slash nightclub that specializes in sports, of course, but also private dining and holding banquets. It's a great location for your next event. You can contact them at 717-854-3229 or check them out on Facebook and the website is vikingsaa.com. Well, I have a feeling they may be indulging in a few adult beverages and maybe some prime river steak there at the Viking Club, but we welcome them aboard the sports shooting start. And we welcome you, the sports fans, this Wednesday, chilly night in January, but it's great basketball weather because we're coming from the cozy confines of West York Area High School. What a reminder, fans, also, that we'll be back on Friday, do as we'll travel over to Dallas Town High School as they'll play host to the Spring Grove Rockets. Yeah, it should be a really good game uh, in two days. Dallas Town versus Spring Grove. Um, very excited to see both those teams. Both those teams play. I don't think we filmed them yet this year, so it should be really exciting to watch both those teams go at it. And then, of course, next Tuesday, I'd be remiss in not mentioning this. Next Tuesday, York High travels to Central York, and that's a big brawl every time those two teams play. Again, next Tuesday, mark your calendars for sports broadcasting by sports shooting stars as we bring the game to you. Uh, we have, oh, a, we have month a, of January and February. Yeah, we have a lot of good games coming up as, as far as Columbia, uh, uh, Columbia High School versus Executive Education. I want to give a shout out to Columbia High School's uh, senior guard, uh, Kerry Glover Kerry, Jr. A thousand point thousand score. Thousand point score this week. So you know, shout out to him for doing a great job. And, well, we're gonna have a thousand point score as well tonight. You mentioned it, Jalen Franklin for Susquehanna, a player to keep an eye on as my broadcast partner. Dude, it looks like you were about ready to take a shot here from midcourt. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And also, uh, you know, on a somber note, I also want to give a shout-out to our, our, uh, one of our commentators and a friend of the, uh, of the network, and that's Brandy Schultz. Yes. Her, uh, her father passed away, um, you know, um, last night, we were, we were told. And, you know, I want to give a shout-out to, to the Overlander family, the Schultz family, and everybody that's involved. 
She's a huge part of our program and, you know, really appreciate what Brandy brings to the table. We know that they're a close-knit family and that's affecting a lot of people. So, you know, shout out to, uh, you know, uh, the Overlander family and Brandy Shope and the whole family. And much condolences and our deepest condolences to your yes, family. Yes, exact. I ditto that. Uh, sending our condolences to Brandy Shope and her family. And no stranger to the West York area. Yeah, big time Brandy West York area. She referees throughout the county. Yeah. So, you know, you know, and, our hearts are with them, with them tonight. And I see her family here tonight as well, so that's a good thing. And occasionally as well, she's a guest broadcaster in the yeah. broadcast booth. So we've had the pleasure of having Brandy there. And I uh, also want to tell the fans that's watching the game, go to our live chat, go ahead and commentate. Uh, you know, let us know who you believe the player of the game is going to be. Keep it classy. Keep it, you know, uh, you know, respectful. Respectful there. And also, uh, you know, our sponsors, you can look at some of their contact information our lower third as you said again the viking club is a new sponsor tonight yep proceeds motor cars of york parmas pizza sp performance training uh integrity first integrity home buyers, first home buyers. Uh, a lot of sponsors. and also dean's auto plaza dean's auto Pl vanover yes yes that was the one sponsor i left out but we thank all our sponsors and we encourage our viewers to support our sponsors because they allow us to do what we Absolutely. enjoy doing each and every Hey, night out here. You guys tune in. We're going to go to the broadcast booth. we got about two minutes to, to take off. Should be a really good game between both ball clubs. Keep an eye on West Shirk. They're a very balanced scoring attack. Keep an eye on Cesspool Hynop. They have the Jalen brothers. I'm sorry, the Franklin the brothers. The Franklin brothers, And yes. a nice supporting cast that, you know, keep them in pace. Should be a great Division II matchup tonight. And we thank you guys for tuning yep, in. Thank you for tuning in. We'll make our way up to the broadcast booth and rejoin you here momentarily. <laughs> We're back, sports fans. Todd Edwards, Du Jones, back high atop the West York Gymnasium here. A great bird's eye view for the game as we're getting set for player introductions.
And that's West Shorts starting lineup. And right now they're going to do the national anthem. There you have it, sports fans, the playing of our national anthem here at West York High School. A relatively new high school gym here, and it's absolutely the prototype gymnasium as far as I'm concerned. What you see here at West York, Central York, Red Lion. And you also uh, have to mention York Vocational Technical yes, School. They have a great, there. Oh. a great uh, renovations that, oh. that was done over there, and it, now they're ready for you know, the, well, the county, county championships. championships. Next month will be played at York County Tech. And not, I'd be remiss in not mentioning Dover High School as well has a new gymnasium. Um, and but also, this you, is really you can't, the you can't forget Redline. Redline yes. has a huge yes. gym that you know we like to play at. Even Dallas Town. Dallas Town Gym is another fantastic place to play basketball. Well, and speaking of that, we'll be there this Friday as they play host to Spring Grove Rockets. But first up, the West York Bulldogs undefeated at 10-0, taking on the Susquehannock Warriors who come in here in third place with a 5-3 and three record. And we are seconds away from tip-off here, Do. West York in their all-white jerseys. Susquehannock will be wearing their black jerseys with red numbers. And we're underway here in the opening quarter from West York High School. We thank you for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. A three-point attempt made by Jane Walker. And that's and A.J. Walker. The ice. And that's one of the guys you want to keep an eye on for West York. He can hit the he can hit the deep three. He's been a part of the ball club, this West York school district for a lot of years. He knows the system. Six foot guard, senior for West York. Now Susky has to answer. Ricky Ferguson with the ball, kick out to Jalen Franklin. Jalen Franklin passes out. To number 25, Chase Robert. Josh Franklin with the drive. That's good defense. Good defense. Now West York is going the opposite way. Pull up. In and out of the bucket there. And number 23, Chase Roberts David with the McGlamour. rebound. Jalen Franklin with the push. And the easy put in. And as we said, he with a pass to his brother. They've been doing that since the backyard days. Josh Franklin with the Josh easy Franklin. put in for two points. Assist West. by his brother, Jalen. Yeah, West York up 3-2 due right now in the opening quarter. Just under six and a half minutes to go. Sports shooting stars. Three, short. Rebound. Big man play. And the uses big his, man puts it in. Using his muscle to get those two points right there. It's A.J. Williams with his first points in tonight's game. As Jalen Franklin bringing the ball up court, a player to watch for Susquehannock, a thousand point scorer. And of course, our player of the game last Friday at York's Bourbon do. Josh Franklin with the ball to Ezra. Ezra looks, gets the shot up, and nice shot. It. 
That's Ezra Davis with his first points. Ezra Davis, their shot blocker on defense. Keep an eye on Ezra Davis, number 20 for Susquehanna. Hey, hey. And it'll be interesting to see down in the post him match up with Javar Powell of West York. Two big guys down there. And Javar right looks now, like an adult with that beard out there. Absolutely. Dude. He looks like a grown man for <laughs> sure. Makes it. It's another shot for AJ. A big three there for AJ. Five points. And West York is going. They're running. Yeah, that fast break style of offense that West York employees here and do. Was, and that was good defense for number 24, Joshua Franklin for Susky. Stopped that easy fast break and, and got a turnover. The younger brother, by the way, of Jalen Franklin for viewers that are tuned in tonight's broadcast. There's Ezra Davis for three and slightly off on that shot, do. And, that's, and, and the that's West not York student want. section's going to yeah, let that's, him know. That's not what... Susky wants from Ezra Davis. He's a down low in the post paint type of guy. They don't want him out there shooting threes. He's very effective in the post. So that's what you want to kind of keep him at. Nice crossover drive. And swatted away there. And that's a big time block like from Jalen Franklin. Number 15. Number 15 yeah. For Susky. 4.37 to go, West York 8, Susquehannock 4. That's another big man move. And they call a travel on number 34, A.J. Williams. A.J. Williams, a player to keep an eye on for West York. Six foot three senior forward. And that's a tough shot. Yeah. It, they call Ezra Davis with a walk. And I can't say that enough. Ezra Davis is a really good post player. You want to get the ball where he can be most effective at. You don't want to get him the ball outside of the post area because he's not going to be that effective. West Short moving the ball around here offensively. And makes it. David McLadry with his first points of tonight's game. Do a, a, a dual role for you tonight here behind the microphone and behind the camera. Yeah, you know, that happens sometimes. Whatever's needed. Big shot there by Ricky Ferguson. Ricky Ferguson big returns three. with a big three-pointer for Susky. Now the score is 10 to 7. Home team, West Short in the lead. And Todd, a lot of fans want to see this West York ball club. So, you know, it's a great time. It's a great game well, to, to showcase their talent. And rightly so. They come in here with an undefeated record at 10-0. Uh, really, you would have to think the top team here in YIAA do. Yeah, top team definitely in, uh, in Division Two. We mentioned in our pregame show, they sit atop Division Two in YIAA. Susquehanna comes in in third place. Of course, you may be wondering at whom. Who's in second in the Division Two rankings? Eastern York, the Golden Knights. Coached by Justin Seitz. Had a chance to see them at their holiday tournament, defeating Dallas Town, and they're a pretty impressive team. They have some size down there on Eastern York. Uh, maybe another school we may want to pick up on our broadcast schedule as well do. Javar Powell, big man in the post, his first points tonight. Gives West York the lead 12 to seven with and under have, three minutes to go. And they have Javar Powell listed at 6-4 for West York. That's Jalen Franklin's first shot of the game so far. Nice elbow jump shot, mid-range game. Susky takes a timeout. With 2.48 to go, your score West York 12, Susquehanna nine and uh, do, it probably would be a good time to mention our sponsors. How about it? Yeah, absolutely. Parma's Pizza of Dallas Town. Pizza so great, you'll scrape your plate. 
located two locations, 1041 Haynes Road in York, Pennsylvania, or 476 East Main Street right in Dallas Town. Prestige Motor Cars of York, owner Jesse Ferber's been a longtime friend of the network and has supported the program for the past three years. Prestige Motor Cars of York is located on the historical trail at 1899 Susquehanna Trail right here in York, Pennsylvania. Remember, best luxury cars for $10,000 or less. And let's not forget Dean's Auto Plaza, 6851 York Road in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Check out their inventory on Facebook and online. And I will get to the other sponsors here as we're uh, back to the hardwood. Back here. to action. And also the sponsors' contact information is located at our lower third at the bottom of our screen, so you can check that out, along with the logo. Deep three. A uh, deep. A little short. Joshua Franklin with the push. Kick out. Ricky Ferguson a little short. Shot by number 35. He's not on our, var our varsity roster uh roster right now, so we don't know who number 35 is. Do you have to love that when that happens to us? From time to time, I want to remind our fans that we get our, the rosters from the schools, and uh, nine times out of ten, most of the, the names and their numbers are there. But every once in a while, we come up short. Right now, West Shirk is running their offense. Kick out. AJ drives. Easy three, short, rebound. Susky pushes. See a boss, Nidier is in, number 33 for Susquehanna. Jalen Franklin with the ball, three. And makes it. And his first two shots have been all money so far. He has five points. He only took two shots so far in the game, but he knocked down both of them. He's one of those guys that can heat up pretty fast. So we want to keep an eye on Jalen Franklin, a thousand point scorer for Susky. Right now he has his team tied up with West York, the undefeated West York team. As Susky comes in here at five and three tonight. Nice pull up. Short rebound Jalen Franklin, Franklin with the outlet. Nice layup. Nice layup. I'm gonna try to make an attempt to get his Whoa. name. We'll get his, I believe he's a JV player that got moved up or just maybe not on our roster. And right now, Susky has the first lead of the game. And that's a great entry play. pass. Great entry pass for Javar. Four points Powell. for Javar Powell and a timeout call by head coach Andy Shilo of Susquehanna. And West York does have the height advantage for sure. Wonder if they're going to continue to go down low and start and get those buckets the easy way. <laughs> Just got an update on number 35, who that is. Big shout out to Jake Hall on the live chat. His name is Dan Benna. Dan Benna, number 35 for Susquehanna. We appreciate that. We appreciate I just looked at our live, our live chat. Total team effort here. How about it? Yeah, and we engage with the fans as well, so really appreciate it anytime they can help us out. Yeah, interesting to note they have uh, Dan Benna's number on the roster as number 34. Hmm. So we, we're thankful for the correction here, and we're back to action here coming off the timeout. That's Dan Susky's Benna with ball. the ball. Pass out to Jalen Franklin. I want to give a big shout out to the Susquehanna uh, you know, fan base that's watching here tonight, as well as West Shorts and all fans in between. Well, back to back games for Susquehanna. We were at York Suburban and we're at West York now featuring the Warriors. And who knows, maybe we'll make our way down to the southern end of the county. With about 12 seconds left. Susquehanna is pretty content with getting his last shot off. They got the ball in the hands of the, of the right player, which is Jalen Franklin. He has range and he can get to the bucket. He drives, kicks out a bass. Kick out one more pass, Josh, Josh Franklin. Franklin with the foul. As the clock expires. And that's a great pump fake because he got the guy off his feet and he initiated the contact to, get, to go to the line and to shoot two free throws. That's a smart heads up play from Joshua Franklin, number 24 for Susquehanna. Josh looking to add to his point total. He's at the charity line here. 
knotted up. Not any longer right now. 15 to 14, Susquehanna. Two from two from the free throw line. It, that does give Joshua Franklin four points, and it gives Susquehanna a two-point lead here, Do after yeah, the first quarter, 16-14. Two-point lead to go out of the first quarter is, is really good for Susquehanna. Again, on, in hostile environment, as far as playing at West Short, at an undefeated, uh, on an undefeated floor. So, you know, I think they're in a good space right now. And right now, you're going to watch the West Short cheerleaders do their and cheer. it's a good time to... Continue with our sponsorships tonight. Integrity's first home buyer, sports enthusiast Eric Brewer of Integrity First Home Buyers, has been an avid supporter of the program for the past five seasons. They're located at 2500 Kingston Road, right here in York, Pennsylvania. Integrity First Home Buyers offers a fast, fair, and local way to sell your home for cash. Integrity First Home Buyers are here to help you with all your real estate needs. Give them a call at 717 718 0858 or check them out on Facebook, Integrity First Home Buyers. And also, S3 Performance Training, the leading training facility for student athletes, not just in York County, but in the 717 area and beyond. John Turpak or Ron Johnson specializes in strength, speed, stamina, and work with hundreds of student athletes per year. Check out S3 Performance Training. They're located right here in York, Pennsylvania, 2810 East Prospect Road. Yeah, we also got a couple guests commentators that's going to come through this year uh, of this game in particular we're going to have uh, Jesse Ferber from Prestige Motorcars of York and in the future we're, we're going to oh that's a nice nice cut sorry I had a, Dan Benna great Dan job cutting Benna. to the bucket but we also going to have Charlie Parker of Crunch Time Hoops talking with us uh, in the future and being one of our guest commentators He's also a coach for sideline cancer a national AU nice move program there. Mark Walker with two for West York. Jalen Franklin pass in. Elbow shot. Clean. Short. Dan Benna with the crash. And Dan Benna might be that that X factor for Susquehanna. Does a little bit of everything. Has a lot of a lot of energy out there on the court. Number 35. for Susquehanna. Susky with a two point lead right now, 18-16 with seven minutes to go. Dan Benna looking to be the inbound passer here. Dan Benna in the post, kick out. Swing pass, nice drive. And the foot in there. Nice bucket for Chase Robert. I'm sorry, that's Joey Smith. Joey Smith, yes. Number 22, I apologize. Joey Smith has a nice game. Got a chance to see him last game, put it in about 10 buckets, 10 points. Short, rebound, kick out. Big three there and makes it. That's Jaden Walker. And that's Josh Franklin with the answer, with a nice layup. Gives Josh Franklin six points. Gene Walker for West York has six points as well. Nice oh, pass, a little short. Yeah, Dan Bennett with the rebound. Kick out to his brother. Josh pulls up at the elbow. Short. Susquehannock with a 22 to 19 lead here. Just over five and a half minutes to go in the second quarter of Sports Shooting Stars broadcast as we bring the game to you this Wednesday night. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you have your bottled water and popcorn and, and, and maybe sitting in front of the fireplace tonight. Yeah, and Good this, night for that. As we said, this is one of those fan requested games. A lot of requests for it uh, this morning. and. Contacted the athletic director at West York and they allowed us to come over, so that's why we're here. And this has been a great contest so far. That's a nice drive. Short. Kind of an awkward shot there uh, for A.J. Williams. 
who AJ does get Williams fouled. is doing a great job yeah, on the has. boards and keeping his giving his team uh, second chance opportunities. Joshua Franklin coming out for a little bit of a breather. Still take a seat on the Susquehannock bench. Jay Williams at the free throw line and makes it. And six points for A.J. Williams. Pulls West York within two right now. 22 to 20 with just under five minutes to go. Dan Bennett with the crossover. And the put in with by With a Dan nice Bennett. put in. Again, doesn't look like a basketball player from my view, but he can get buckets, and he's very aggressive out there. Dan Benna is probably that X factor for the Susquehanna team. Six points for Dan Benna. Nice rebound by Abbas. Jalen Franklin with the push. Kick out. Don't know if that's a shot they want from Abbas. Yeah, you would think Abbas would be down in the post to a big body and that short three point short shot comes up short, but West York rebounds. And West York's doing a great job of getting those second chance opportunities. They're controlling they the board so far in the first half of this game. And the put in. That's a great drive from Braden Dietz. 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 I'm sorry, yeah, yep. Dietz. Braden Dietz with his first points tonight. Right now, it's going to send uh, number three, Mufed. Arawano to the free throw line. Five foot ten junior for Susquehannock. Who fed there. Misses his first of two shots and a two point lead for Susquehannock with 4.04 to go. 24 22. That's a good rebound. Kick out. West Yorkers running. Close to a travel. Kick out. And that's good defense. Could have been a kick ball there. Yeah. It. Joey Smith with the pass. And checking in the game is. Number 25, Chase Roberts, the junior small forward. Joe. Taking out the game is Joey Smith. Jalen Franklin's been pretty quiet so far in the first half. Doesn't take much for him to get points on the, on the, on the board. You know, he, right now he's sitting with five points, but still in the second quarter, And he needs to be a little bit more aggressive, in my opinion, Jalen Franklin, uh, you know, to finish his first half out. Can't give West York an opportunity to get back into the game because they will get back into the game. Good defense from the Susquehanna team. And West York reassesses, sets their offense back up, spin move. Got to watch the three seconds. They're getting close to a three seconds down there for West York. And the, the teammates of Susquehannock on the bench try to make some noise here for the Warriors. And so far, West Shirt burned about 40 seconds off the clock. Rebound. 40 seconds off the clock and didn't get any points out of that possession. And Susquehannock now seems content to kind of and he moved the ball around, although Franklin drives to the net. Shot comes up short. West York's ball. And Jalen Franklin is a short bucket, so he has to make a decision. Is he going to pass the ball or is he going to attack the rim? Right there, he kind of second guessed himself a little bit. You saw, saw that when he got caught up in the air. Like to see him be a little bit more aggressive in this game. With him only having five points and up by two, and right now they're up by two is a good thing. By two. But yeah. just imagine if he starts, you know, being more aggressive on the offensive side.
Kaitlin Franklin with the ball. Kick out. Drive. Travel call there, dude. Chase Roberts is called with the travel. Turning the ball over for Susquehanna. And right now it's been pretty much a stalemate with the score. It Not has, a lot of buckets. Yeah. In the second quarter. Has this surprised you do here in the second quarter? Nah, I believe this will be a defensive game. So, you know, they're, going, they're both going back back and forth. The undefeated West York Bulldogs here on Sports Shooting Stars with a 10-0 record. And they have the ball right now. Nice shot there. And A.J. Williams, Williams, he's a big man, but he loves that three-point shot. He knocked it down, and that gives West York a one-point lead, 25-24. Nine points for A.J. Williams. All three-pointers, by the way, I believe. <laughs> There's Josh Franklin for a shot. That's a tough shot. West York ball, bringing the ball up court. And through the hands of A.J. Williams, it'll be Susquehannock's possession. And they now. would get A.J. Williams back in rhythm, shoot another yeah. three. He's been knocking it down so far in the first half. He just couldn't hold on to that pass. A.J. Williams, the 6'3". Senior for West York, number 34. Oh, they have some height on their roster. Looking down their roster, uh, Javar Powell, 6'4". Javon DeShield, 6'5". As we were talking to some fans earlier, they have very balanced scoring for West York. So anybody can be the leading scorer and is a very unselfish team, as you can see tonight. Jalen Franklin with the ball. With around 45 seconds to go in the second quarter. And Susquehannock's not going to rush it. If they can get the last yeah, shot. They, they seem content here to yeah. maybe possibly hold for a final shot before halftime. That's exactly what they did at the end of the first quarter. Didn't get the shot they wanted, but they were very patient with the ball. They have no problem being patient. It, a big three there by number 25, Chase Robert. Oh, and the clock has expired, dude. And we've arrived at halftime with your score. Susquehanna 27, West York 25. Very competitive game. Very competitive first half. Susquehannock is very patient when they want to get their shot. They, they'll, they'll waste time, they'll burn that clock, and they'll pass the ball around until they get that open shot. And they did that in the first at, at the end of the first quarter, and they did it again at the end of the second quarter. A Susquehannock, again, uh, remind our fans that are watching, come in here with a 5-3 and three record. They're in third place in Division II. And, and right now they have a two-point lead over the undefeated West York Bulldogs. Kind of surprising to me, do. Yeah, I mean, I expected, you know, this game to be, you know, back and forth, very uh, defensive-minded game. Um, I think West Sugar's doing a great job with uh, keeping Jalen Franklin from scoring a lot of buckets. He only has five points so far, but he only took three shots. So, you know, well, I'm sorry, four shots. So he, I, I expect him to come out to be a little bit more aggressive in the second half and, you know, keep, keep his team in the lead and be aggressive, and, you know, we, we shall see. And uh, w since we've arrived at halftime, it would be a good time to once again uh, plug our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. And Absolutely. new sponsors. How about it? the Viking Club right here from the West York area, not too far away, maybe a long throw or a long pass away from West York High School. The Viking Club, a new sponsor for tonight. We welcome them aboard for tonight's game. Also, Prestige Motor Car of York, Parma's Pizza of Dallas Town, Dean's Auto Plaza in Hanover, Integrity First Home Buyers and S3 Performance Training, all sponsors for tonight's broadcast. And um, five of those six sponsors are season long sponsors. Absolutely, that's a big thing for us. We appreciate that. And right now, if the fans are watching, it's uh, youth night at, 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 at uh, uh, West Shore. Blue versus white, right? So, you know, we get, uh, we'll get a little video of them as well playing some basketball. I believe that's the fourth gra fifth grade, sixth grade playing right now, okay. Sixth graders uh, on the court uh, for a little halftime entertainment. How yeah, about it, do? It's a nice youth night, so these guys are dressed, ready to play. They're ready uh, to play, work and up a, a sweat, and, uh, and stay warm inside the gymnasium here. And again, Jesse Ferber, his son right there has the ball. That's Jensen Ferber, one of our 
sponsors here. One for of our tonight. sponsors, yes, is here in attendance. All uh, three of his sons play for the West York Ball Club. And play he was, football and basketball. He was representing the West York swag here tonight. Uh, no stranger, or, uh, and uh, it's certainly uh, not hiding his loyalties here tonight. <laughs> I want to remind the fans to tune in to our next broadcast, which will be taking place this Friday as we travel to Dallas Town High School. They play host to the Spring Grove Rockets in a Division I matchup in YIAA. And then, of course, next Tuesday, York High Bearcats travel to Central York. And uh, we'll be broadcast. it'll be a busy broadcast week, really, yeah. three games within a week. Yeah, in the next week or so, you should, the, the, you know, Division I and Division II should really start panning out. We, we should know who's going to go to the playoffs. And, you know, yeah, it's going to be very uh, crucial for them to knock down. For them to um, you know, win a couple games, especially in January. Yep, and I want to remind our fans that are tuned in, we will be broadcasting the YAIAA County Championships, which they will be emanating from the York County School of Technology in Spry, in York Township area. Uh, the first time, I believe, in a long time that York Bo Tech has had the opportunity to host it. And I had a chance to see their new gymnasium. It's almost Immaculate. a replica, yes, yeah. of the York College Gymnasium, and uh, looking forward to getting in there and broadcast not just the boys, but the girls' county championships. Yeah, and we want to tell the fans the reason why, what well, we were told, the reason why they relocated was because at York College they have a three-point, a college three-point line, and they needed a high school three-point line school. for the county championship. So that's why I relocated Makes to Votech. Uh, your vocational te technology we'll, school. Uh, more than likely get some of the great teams coming out, you know, and the two final teams duking it out, as they say, on the hardwood at your county school of technology. In and the you can see the young guys right now duking it out, going against each other. Fans, follow Sports Shooting Stars on Facebook and Instagram for any schedule, or any added games that we may uh, pick up during the course of the season. Yeah, we're at that point in our season where we will pick up games, we'll flex some games, some games won't won't happen. Uh, we know we'll let the fans know that prior to the game. And, you know, we just want to try to pick up the best matchups, you know, in our area. Yes. And, again, tonight's score, we've, we're at halftime right now. Susquehannock 27, West York 25. As youth night has overtaken the hardwood floor here at West York High School. And we'd like to, again, thank our sponsors for tonight, Dean's Auto Plaza, located at 6851 York Road, Hanover, Pennsylvania. Check out their inventory on Facebook and online. It's York and Adams County's area's biggest car and truck dealer. Ask for Bruce. Also, Parma's Pizza of Dallas Town. They have two locations, 476 East Main Street in Dallas Town and 1041 Haynes Road in York. Pizza's so great, you'll scrape your plate. Visit Darren Bonacquisti. Prestige Motorcars of York owner Jesse Ferber has been a longtime friend of the network and has supported the program for the past three years. Prestige Motorcars of York is located on the historical trail at 1899 Susquehanna Trail in York, Pennsylvania. The best luxury cars for $10,000 or less. Give them a call at 717-781-6750. And ask for Jesse or Brian L. Also, I want to give another quick shout-out to Brainy Shope. That's her son right there, Quinn Shope, number 33 in white. He's out there playing. I know a couple of these players out there, so I want to give a shout-out to them. Integrity First playing. Home Buyers sports enthusiast Eric Brewer of Integrity First Home Buyers of York has been an avid supporter of our program for the past five seasons, located at 2500 Kingston Road right here in York, Pennsylvania. Integrity First Home Buyers offers a fast, fair, and local way to sell your home for cash. Integrity First Home Buyers are here to help you with all your real estate needs. Give them a call at 717-718-0858. And S3 Performance Training, they're the leading training facility for student athletes in not just your county, but the whole 717 area and beyond. John Turpak or Ron Johnson specialize in strength, speed, stamina, and work with over hundreds of student athletes per year. Check out S3 Performance Training. They're located at 2810 East Prospect Road in York, Pennsylvania. Contact John Turpak or Ron Johnson at www.s3performancetraining.com or simply give them a call at 717-542-4247. Thank you to all our sponsors and their committed support to our program. And we thank you, the fans, for tuning in this Wednesday night. 
And we got Jesse Ferber here now. We can go ahead and get him. We a, do. We might as well. A quick, a quick get interview him. before the second half uh, stop, stops in. Yeah, we're live right now. So Live. Jesse, your thoughts? Yeah, Jesse, your thoughts so far on the first half of the game here between West York and Susquehanna. Excellent game. Excellent game. Uh, Susquehanna seems to be shooting at a real high percentage. Not sure what the stats are, but if they can keep that up, uh, should be a tough second half. West York. Watched a few games. A couple of these guys have been hitting the threes throughout the season. A little cold in the first half. We'll see what happens in the second half. But they have a whole good teams for sure. Yeah, I think solid I, squad. I think West Shore's doing a great job of containing Jalen Franklin. Jalen yeah. Franklin only has five points right now. What do you think that needs to happen in the second half for West Shore to get in this game and also get that lead so they can secure the win? I think, uh, like I mentioned to Todd, uh, Braden Detts, had a couple open threes. He's been hitting them all year. I think he's going to get a few more opportunities. Uh, David McGladry also has been scoring really well. Both of those guys were getting good looks, just not going down. So if they uh, are true to form at the first half of the season, they'll start hitting them shots in the second half. Uh, I thought Mark Walker did a great job. Sophomore came, on, came in off the bench and did a great job on defense on uh, Franklin. Yeah, he was face really guarding him the whole time. I noticed that. Well, you, why we have you here, I see your little coat on Prestige uh, Motor yeah, Cars yeah. of York. Tell the viewers a little bit about this. You know, I, the best luxury cars for under $10,000. You know, just a couple weeks ago, I read where the average used car price last year was $29,000. <laughs> talk, yeah, talk to the viewers a little bit about I, this, well, your business. I saw that same article, and, and that's crazy. I think most people think of a used car, and they're thinking somewhere in between, you know, five and $15,000. But to see the average used car prices, 27,000 is, wow. is wild. Yeah. And I think a lot of that is uh, in the new car market, a lot of the new car dealers don't have the inventory. So they're starting to stock up on late model used cars. But as far as prestige motor cars, we specialize in uh, pre-owned luxury vehicles. Most of our vehicles are gonna be in the eight to $12,000 range. Uh, high, high majority of them under 10,000. So and, and come on, check us out. We're at uh, 1899 Susquehanna Trail and uh, PrestigeMotorCarsOfYork.com. Yeah, I was about to mention that. You have a great location because that, 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 that location's been there for years. So, yeah, you know, 30 far, years been there, 30 years. As far it as must be doing something. I mean, to be in business for 30 years, yeah, it's a great, no, great I, credit to you. I recently bought the business from uh, Tom Colantino. Uh, people that live in that area know Tom sold uh, Strictly Corvettes for many, many years. So, great parking lot. Yeah. yeah, we were able to partner with Tom and uh, buying that dealership, and it's been going well. So. Appreciate you guys shouting us out. Yeah, well, prestige motor car. Yeah. If you're looking for a car, for three years and I'd be three seasons in a row that they've been our sponsor. Then, so it's been a really uh, added bonus, man, to have yeah. you guys affiliate with the company. Happy to support you guys are doing a great job uh, getting these young guys some uh, some airtime. I'm sure them and their parents and they certainly appreciate it. So yeah, we appreciate the sponsors as well. So we're, I'm gonna go back with yeah, this camera we're back for a on second. Camera. Thanks again, Jesse <laughs> Ferber, Prestige Motor Cars. If you're looking for an automobile, check them out. We're back to action here. West York will be moving right to left on your TV screen. And West York comes out, firing three short. Jump ball, call. And of course, Susquehannock in their all black jerseys with red numbers will be moving left to right. Just getting underway here in the third quarter. We thank you for tuning in to Sports Shooting Stars. Dujo's Todd Edwards. Jalen Franklin to the net. Kind of hits the hardwood hard, pretty hard there on that play. But on his feet. And that's going, and that foul was on the floor. I thought that was a shooting foul, but that yeah, foul was on the floor. And again, that's he, we see Jalen Franklin being a little bit more aggressive now in the second half. Had a good first half, but wasn't that aggressive in my opinion. I'd like to see him be more aggressive in the second half. There's a three-point shot by Franklin in and out of the net. West York bringing the ball up court. And that's a push, kick out, drive, tough shot. Jana Franklin with the rebound. Behind the back. Nice behind the back move there. Kick by out, Jim. Ricky Ferguson, short. Yeah, you could. Yeah. And that's a foul. On number 25 for Susky, Chase Roberts. Chase Robert. Jared Walker bringing the ball up court for 
West York. In the hands now of Brayden Betts. And you would imagine, do when you're an undefeated team like West York, you're going to get the very best of every team coming out each and every night. Absolutely. And you kind of have that target on your back when you're undefeated. Chase Roberts with a big rebound. Chase Robert with a big rebound. Out to Joshua Franklin. Kick out. Jaden Walker did a good job putting his, getting his hands on the ball. Student section here at West York, well represented tonight. Uh, yeah, a lot of student sections uh, in different gyms that we go to are yeah, pretty yeah. packed and thick and ready to play, ready to watch their team play. Well, it's just great to see the fans back in the stands, dude. Absolutely. And right now, Susquehanna is running their offense, taking their time, trying to get a good shot. Got a three-pointer off this last time they ran this play. Ezra Davis, spin move, takes a few steps. And a travel called on Ezra Davis. 6-10 to go here. A two-point lead by Susquehanna, 27-25. And what I would say is a low-scoring affair so far, dude. Low-scoring affair. Quarter. If West York wants to win this, they have to gut it out, play tough defense, and, you know, make the right shots on offense because this is not going to be a high-scoring game at all. Limit their turnovers, and West York can secure this win in front of their home crowd. Kick out, Jaden Walker, pass, drive. Jaden Walker with another drive. And swatted away there by Ezra Davis. It will be Susquehannock's ball. And number 20, Ezra Davis, is their shot blocker. Surprised they didn't call a foul on that, on that play. Yeah, they. But, you know, looked like it was a shot block but somehow Susky retains the possession. Under five and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Jalen Frank with the Jaylen ball, Frank first step to the, net. to the bucket. And a put in. He has a mean first step. If he can get you off the, off the dribble, he's gonna do that. Seven points for Jalen Franklin right now for Susquehanna. And a four point lead for the Warriors over the Bulldogs. Kick out. Rebound by eight, and, that's and a, a steal by Jalen Franklin. He's going the whole, and the easy put in. Nine and, points now for Jalen, and, and, and he can get his he's points. He's starting to get warmed up now, do as you mentioned. Yep, and he can get his points very quietly, and on the defensive end, as you can see, nearly a steal. A six-point lead for the Warriors, 31-25 with 4:40 to go. West York maintains possession. Ball. And, and number five, Braden Dietz needs to knock down that three in the corner when he gets the ball. He has an open look. Don't hesitate. They trust you to shoot it. Go ahead and knock it down. Battle of the big guys there in the paint. There's A.J. Williams. And A.J. Williams doing a great job for West York, keeping pace and getting those extra chance, extra, I mean, second chance rebounds to keep his team in the game. He's going to send A.J. to the charity line here. A.J. with nine points, dude. Nice thing about their scoreboard, the fans can see the player's number and also their points and yes. their fouls as well. So right and now. it helps us out tremendously in the broadcast booth it does. as well. But and he, AJ now with double digits, 10 points. A little short, Ezra Davis with the rebound, kick out. Chase Robert with the ball, out to Josh Franklin. And again, Susquehanna is not in any rush to shoot the ball. Once they got their lead and they know what they want to do, yeah, they, they'll take their time. They'll get the matchup they want. Kick out. Rebound. Jaden Walker, nice outlet. Nice dish. And that's a charge call. And a charge call. Yeah. Jalen Franklin risked his body to go against he Javar did it. And we kind of heard that from up here in the broadcast booth. Some fans think he was a little low on the block to get that yeah. charge call, but. And right now, you can kind of see the, the momentum starting to shift towards the Susquehanna side. That's a nice crossover. 
And a big mm. shot there by Josh Franklin. Man, that was a nice crossover. Created space and knocked down a big time three from Joshua Franklin. Brother of Jalen Franklin, the Franklin brothers the of Susquehanna. The Franklin brothers are uh, back at it again here tonight. And right now, Susquehanna has his biggest lead of the night at eight points. A.J. Williams kick out. Jaden Walker drives, sees something. Nice two points. And Coach Bull for West York calls timeout. Yes. With 3.26 to go, Susquehanna 34, West York 28. And as you would say, and use a little boxing analogy, uh, Susquehanna has West York on the ropes here, do. They have them on the ropes. There's still a lot of time in this game. It's only the third quarter, but I believe Susquehanna is right where they want to be at, being in, uh, on the road playing on the ro on, against an undefeated team. Yeah, and how big of a win would this be for Susquehanna and really kind of throw a bit of a curve uh, to Division II here uh, if Susquehanna were able to hold on. And, and let's not forget about Eastern York in Division II as well. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in Division yes. II uh, race. As we know, West York is at the top, 10-0 undefeated. Right below them is Eastern, and then you have Susky. So it's, it's a tight race. It's a tight. Still got a lot of more game, a lot more games to go in the regular season, and you know some of these teams couldn't meet each other in the playoffs as well. They could, and yeah, and we will be part of it. I know we'll be following it. I know the early rounds of the playoffs and the YIAA will be taking place at Red Lion and Dallas Town, and then they'll move over to the York County School of Technology, as we mentioned, their new field house. Looking forward to broadcasting from their new facilities there at York School of Technology. And West York coach, Coach Bull, called that timeout to get his guys regroup. Regroup, yeah. You know, have them buckle down, remind them what they need to do to win this game. And it comes, and it's gonna come down to the defense. Jalen Walker bringing the ball up court for Susquehanna. We're just over three minutes to go here in the third quarter. We thank you for tuning in tonight. And Jalen has nine points right now. Nine quiet points. Dan Benna for a three, do. Dan Benna, he's that X factor for that team. He's been very aggressive on the offensive side and helping them secure buckets and keep the lead. That's a nice pass. Oh, and through the hands of Jabbar Powell. And as Jesse Ferber said earlier, Susquehanna is really shooting a high percentage from the field. Yeah. And they're still knocking them down in the they second are. half. And I don't know if West York actually been in this situation so far this year. Yeah, so, you, you know, it's you very. if they've been tested like this right now, do. I mean, this is very our first broadcast to see how, West York. It would be very interesting to see how they respond being down by nine points in the third quarter. Dan Benna to the net and a put in. Dan Benna, again, scoring. 11 po points for Dan Benna. Leads all Susquehanna Warriors, for that matter, leads all scores. But now, Franklin. Mark with Jalen Franklin with the bucket. And right now, starting to get a little bit out of control for West Short. 11 points for Jalen Franklin. And West Short had a couple open looks, but I know they're... A three from deep three. makes it. Jaden Walker, number three, the senior, with a great three-pointer. Gives Jaden 11 points. Now Leads it's a 10-point lead. West York scores. And that's what West York needed. They needed that three to get them back into the game. Yeah, uh, still a 10-point lead for the Warriors over the Bulldogs. And they call a carry. Mm. You don't see it. You don't hear see that, that too, too often. often right. Dude, I, was, I was going to talk you, about that you carry hear the call. the walk and the travel, but a carry? Uh, you, you don't see that too often. Some of the younger ages of the game, but. But I guess when you palm the ball, you, you, you flip it over. It depends on the referee, to be honest with you. Nice spin move. Kick out, another three. Off oh. the backboard there slightly. That's a nice rebound. Oh, and getting physical under the net there, Jalen Franklin. And number 22, that's Mark Walker. And that's a nice looked, rebound. From my vantage point, it looked like Mark ate an elbow there. Yeah, it, was a little, it got a little aggressive the charity line. when he went up to the bucket. But Mark Walker is 5'9". He's only a sophomore. He's in there playing, getting some good varsity time. And he's being um, contributing, contributing to his, to his, for his team. Some valuable playing experience here for Mark Walker. Three points for Mark. They Keep an eye on Mark Walker. Sophomore. He'll be he'll be one of the future stars for West York in the next coming years. He's getting that varsity time as a sophomore, so you just imagine what he's going to do, you know, as a junior or or a senior. Right now, it's a nine-point lead. Jalen Franklin with the ball 
gives it to his brother, Josh Franklin. Dan Benna. Dan Benna, the X Factor for Susquehanna. Good swing pass. You know, do I got to say, as someone who's follically challenged, uh, Dan Benna's hair is, is pretty <laughs> stylish, you know. It's, off the subject a little bit, but hey. back, back to the game here. We'll, As I said before, it doesn't look like a basketball player, but he can play he some basketball. He has contributed well tonight for the Warriors. Nice drive. And that's Javon DeShields. Six foot five junior. Six foot five junior. They have some height here in the Bulldogs. It's know his father as well, Jared DeShields. Used to play for Central York years ago, back in the 90s. And a steal. Oh. And he got the Bound ball back. The ball, West York. We're under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Spin move. And a put in. There's Mark Walker. That's Mark Walker, as we just alluded to not too, not, not too long ago, that he's a scrappy player, and he's one of those X-Factor guys and for West York. And it's on display right now, the sophomore back to the charity line here. And West York is slowly but surely chipping back into this game and getting their buckets the hard way. Susquehanna needs to, you know, get more rebounds, box out. Oh, missed oh, yeah. the bunny right below. Yeah, Javon to Shields. Those are the shots that kind of hurt. Oh, they do get that close to the rim and, and it goes in and out. And, and that's a very, very careful right there. They didn't get a technical foul. He slammed the ball on the ground and it didn't call it technical. Yeah, they didn't. They normally call that automatically. Oh, and a, and a technical foul was called. It was called, yeah. It was called. Seat. The first referee didn't say anything, but the referee on the other side oh, yeah. did call that. And that's pretty much automatically. Anytime somebody slams the ball down. It's going to send Dan Benna, who already has 11 points. Make it 12. Dan Benna. The senior. Plays with Hanock. no fear. You can tell he's one of those guys that like to be in these situations. And he plays with no fear, doesn't care. Well, in the face of the student section there, not yep. rattled at all. He's all business out there. No doubt about it. And 13 points for Dan Benna. With and again, with 47 seconds to go to end this quarter, Susquehanna's not going to shoot the ball until the last three, four seconds yeah. of the clock. And they did that first quarter, second quarter, and I, presume, I assume they're going to do that in, this, in, the, in the third quarter as well. They're going to be very patient with the ball yeah, and not get any shots up. The Warriors with the lead, 43-34, just under 40 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And Dan Benna for Susquehanna is leading all scores with yes. 13 points here tonight. And I guess, do as uh, from our broadcast booth here, it's never probably too early to consider uh, for our fans maybe who they're considering as the player of the game. We still have a full quarter of action to go. Absolutely. Jalen Franklin Frank with the ball, went. dribbling, takes steps, Off short, the rim. rebound. And that's a big and time a steal. Block. And the clock has expired at the end of the third quarter. Susquehanna 43, West York 34. Yeah, it's been a very good game so far. That third quarter, they really picked it up with the scoring. Uh, second quarter, didn't see much scoring at all. First quarter was, you know, action-packed back and forth. But right now, I believe that Susquehanna is in a good position. They're not in any rush. They're getting the shots they want to get off. And, you know, they're a team that's going to try to walk out of here with a victory by holding the ball and, you know, getting a second chance opportunity. And you mentioned earlier doing our broadcast, you know, we're not sure if West York's been tested like this during the season. They've played some stiff competition through their schedule. 
well, through I their uh, victory to, to 10 wins. Uh, but yeah. tonight, they're, uh, as I said earlier, they're on the ropes right now. We'll see how they can rebound here in the fourth quarter. I know they had a tough win against Northeastern. They beat them 60-50, to 50, and Northeastern's a decent team, Division One team. And, you know, West Short, you know, they had to put everything on the floor in this fourth quarter. I think Susquehanna is doing a great job with ball control and also uh, time of possession. They're not in any rush. They have the lead. They're not looking for any tough shots. They're just passing the ball around and getting what they can. So time of possession is really in the favor of Susquehanna throughout this whole game. Yeah, and, and again, reminder, fans, there's no shot clock at this level. So uh, of course I wish they lead. would have a shot clock. Yeah, I wish high school would have a shot clock. I like the idea of a 35-second yeah, shot clock. You have it at the collegiate level. Yeah. You have it at the pros. Well, yeah, even, in, even in some AAU tournaments, there's a shot clock even for the younger kids. So, And we've underway here in the fourth quarter. And right now, that undefeated season is on the line. And you don't go out here trying to have a perfect season. I mean, that's not the goal. The goal is to get to the county championship, get to districts, District, get to states. But complete. right now, their perfect season is on the line. And that could have been a foul there, but it wasn't it called. It was not called to Susquehannock's possession. Jalen Franklin bringing the ball up court for Susquehannock. And they're going to call that one. That's they're a blocking call. call. West Braden Coast. Dietz, I'm not sure if he was set or not, but that's a yeah, blocking he, call on number five for West York, Braden Dietz. Nice spin move and to the, the bucket. In. That's Joey Smith. Joey Smith, can get he can get buckets. We saw him against York Suburban. He played a really flawless game. Doesn't do too much. Well, Joey has four points tonight, and it's a total team contribution tonight for Susquehanna. And West York had their opportunities to miss a couple bunnies down low, but they had their opportunities. That's an open There's three, a three there. Point Short. Attempt. And they got to get rebounds. Rebounds by Dan Benna. He pushes. One on three, pretty much. Wild shot. Jaden Walker with the ball, pushes. 11 point lead for Susquehanna. 45 34 over the Bulldogs. And West Shore got to get something going now. And that's and good a defense. Turnover. There's Jalen Franklin. He called his name again, Joey Smith. Joey Smith. Again, doesn't give you a basketball look, but that guy can play basketball, man. Joey Smith. This is the biggest lead for Susquehannock right now. And that's the advantage right there. Good oh, shot. A put in. For number 34, A.J. Williams with 12 points. An 11 point lead for Susquehanna, looking to widen that margin. Joey Smith drives, kicks out, misses. And, and these referees are letting them play. No doubt about They're it. They're not calling well, many calls at all. They're letting Joey him play Smith's basketball. Joey name again. Yeah, eight points for Joey. And Joey scored six points in the last minute, practically, for Susquehanna. 13-point lead for Susquehanna. And that's it's a gut check time right now for West York if they, with 5.36 to go. And that's Javon DeShields, number 35, 6'5", junior, junior for West York with the bucket and the foul. He sends him to the line. Has an opportunity for a three-point play. He knocks it down. And coach three Bull points for West Shirk is going to call a timeout. Call. Needs to talk to his team for 10 points. 10 points hey, down with five ten. minutes and 36 seconds to go. Yeah. Um, Timeout. We'd like to thank West York and their athletic director, Wayne Dahl, for allowing us to come in tonight. Absolutely. First broadcast this season at West York. And I uh, believe we'll have West York and York Suburban later in the year as well in our season broadcast. I see my nieces here tonight. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on them a little bit. You never know who's going to come out to the you game never here know. on a Wednesday night, do they? Let's see if I can find them. That's my niece, Corey. No, that's not Corey. <laughs> okay, they moved up top there. Here's my niece, Corey, Camille, Naomi, and her sister and their aunts. 
Back to the game, back to the game. Yep, Susquehannock with the possession. And you're right, dude, kind of, the refs are kind of letting them play. There's Dan Benna in the post. Missed his shot. And West Sugar's on the move. There's a three-point attempt by A.J. Williams. And what a shot there, And A.J. Dude. Williams been knocking that three-point down. That's his third three-pointer of the game. That's 15 and that, points for A.J. Williams. And that cuts the lead to seven points. And he's backcourt. They didn't call it. Josh. Franklin, and that's a charge call, that's Josh charge, Franklin. Josh Frank. Right Five now, West Shirk is go. right back in it. They, and the student section's letting their fan base here know that uh, and Susquehannock, that they haven't gone away anywhere. Here. It's, basically, it's basically a two, three possession point game. They can get right back into this with good offense. Short. A boss with the rebound. And a steal there at ball. And they don't know who that went out on. And that's gonna call, they're gonna call a jump ball. And Jaden Walker has been that spark number 22 for West Short. Yes, he has. Doing a very good job on the defensive side. Right now, Susquehanna with the possession. West Short down by seven, 49-42, 4.41 to go. Let me correct myself, that's Mark Walker, number 22 for West Short, the sophomore. Mark has five points tonight. And that's a jump ball, and that's good defense. Really good defense. And the last three possessions for Susquehanna, West Short has totally shut them down. And that's the type they of defense they talk. need. They want to win this game. Yeah, there's still plenty of time here. Just over four minutes to go. Spin move. Still. And they're off to the races. And Jalen Franklin. Jalen Franklin, probably, the one, probably one of the best layup packages in the county. Well, he makes it look he, easy, dude. When he, when he has the ball. 13 points for Jalen Franklin. Big time three. And knockdown. What a shot by Braden Dads. Five points for Braden. That's close to a steal. And timeout call. Wise timeout. Sheilo of Susquehanna. Yeah, very wise. Right now, the Warriors holding on to the lead 51 45 with 3.39 to go here in the fourth and final quarter, Do. Yeah, that was a great uh, timeout for Coach Sheoff. I'm, I'm sorry. Shilo. Shilo, yeah. Sorry. That was a great timeout for Coach Shilo. He knew the momentum starting to swing a little bit. He wanted to get his guys regrouped and refocused, and that's Man. what you're going to need because this last four minutes is going to be very crucial, you know, for the Susquehanna team. I know he's not in any rush to get any shots up. He wants clean shots, you know, and layups, and that's what they're going to try to get. But West Shirk's doing a great West job of, of pushing the issue and getting these turnovers. The last couple possessions, uh, Susquehanna turned the ball over. Yes, they have. They're right back into this game. We'd like to thank our sponsors tonight, Prestige Motor Cars of York, Parma's Pizza of Dallas Town, Dean's Auto Plaza, Integrity First Home Buyers, S3 Performance Training, and the Viking Club right here, a West York's own Viking Club, not yep. too far from here as a uh, first-time sponsor. Yep. They heard we were doing a game tonight, want to be a part of the broadcast. So you see their logo, their contact information down at the bottom. You may want to go over there post game and get uh, an adult beverage or Absolutely. a steak or uh, some food to eat post game here after watching. Viking Club established in 1934. They've been around a few years. Longer than you and I do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> going to be here long after we're going too, probably. <laughs> And right now, West Shirk has to make a push with three minutes and 39 seconds to go. Jalen Franklin has the ball. West York down by six. Kick out. Jalen Franklin's trying to spread the court. Pass out to his brother, Josh again, Franklin. Yeah, the Warriors in no hurry to get the shot off here, do. 
Dan. Dan Benna there on the outside wing. Josh Franklin, Jalen Franklin. And just burning the clock right now. Susquehanna burning the clock. And that's a foul, number five, Braden Dietz of West Short. Number 33, Abbas, had an open layup, yeah, took that yeah, dribble, I, and you know. Uh, Braden kind of was on his back. Yeah. On his back Braden after that dribble. Dietz, if you went straight foul, up, by the way. if you went straight up, that would have been a quick, easy two points. Big men need to go right up without that dribble if they want to score that bucket. And again, Franklin with the ball. Josh Franklin, the junior, the younger brother of And we just talked about that, yeah, the dribbling. The dri you just want to get the ball, take one step, and go right in. Some of these big men, they like to dribble and put the ball on the floor, but you got to go right up. And that's another turnover for Susquehanna. They have several in this fourth quarter. And that's helping West Shirt get right back into the game with a little less than two minutes and 30 seconds to go. And that's a good shot. And makes it David McLabry. And four just points. like that, it's a four-point game. West Short was actually down by 13 going into the, into the fourth point, quarter. Yes, uh, and now right back into this. And, and you're starting to feel that momentum swing now to the Bulldog side, Bill. And the fans probably can see on the clock that, you know, soon Susquehanna is going to be on the one-and-one one with the fouls. West Short is already in the bonus, so if Susquehanna fouls them, they go to the free throw line, stops the clock, and they get two shots. Jalen Franklin with the ball. Back door, takes his time. There's Dan Benna. With the ball. That's another timeout from the Susky coach. And, and you wonder, Todd, sometimes when, you know, when the team's coming back like this and you don't, you know, you have the lead, and as, you know, the the team that's winning, you don't want to take a bad shot, right? So you kind of like work the ball around and sometimes you fall asleep a little bit and you, you're not aggressive on offense. And I think that's what happened with Susquehanna. Uh, they did want to hold the ball for the last few seconds. I mean, the last few possessions, but at the same time, I believe, um, you know, with them not being aggressive on offense, that, that gave West Shirk opportunity to get these steals and, and to get back and into the back game. into this game, yeah, exactly. Uh, right now, Susquehanna holding on to the lead, 51-47, fourth and final quarter. With 2.02 to go. And this is anybody's game. Anybody's game. Both teams are shooting free throws on the next yeah. foul. So that stops the clock and gives each team an opportunity to get some well, a score. And we know how West York likes to shoot the three. Uh, well within grasp here. West York undefeated coming into tonight's game with a 10-0 record. And Susquehanna's done a great job of keep away. And a steal. And there's a steal. And, and it's a two-point game. And I said that again. He, they're being Mark way Walker too nonchalant with the with ball. Jaden Franklin needs to be more aggressive with the ball. Get to the bucket and get to, and make them foul you. Two-point game. And that's going to send Jalen Franklin to this line to shoot one and one. Very lax of days ago yeah. for Susquehanna. Pretty much the last three minutes. Yeah, you would have thought kept the foot on the pedal and just kept going down. You know, with yeah, keep going downhill, and, um, still be aggressive. And, and kind of hit a bit of a snag here. And, and, and being passive is the reason why West York got right back into this game. Got to let the fans know they were down by 13 in the fourth quarter. And right there, Franklin gets the friendly roll. I'm sorry, the friendly bounce. Friendly bounce. And that's 14 points for Jalen. Knocks Make them both down. For Jalen Franklin. And right now, Susquehanna needs to play good defense if they want to get if they want to secure this win. West Church doing a great job of battling, getting right back into it. And this is another barn burner, Todd, that we were talking about before that a lot of our games are. And it will be Susquehannock's ball with 117 to go. Right now, strategically, West Shore's coach is subbing in and out his guys. He just brung in Javar Powell, the Javar six foot Powell, four six senior. Four. 
less than 90 seconds to go in this game. And West York's undefeated season is on the line. You can see Susquehanna got to try to work the ball Dan around. Dan Bennett with the kick out. Eat some of that clock up. Dude. And they're good at holding the ball for 30 seconds or to a minute. So they... You got a foul at this point. Just got a foul at this point. Uh, 50 seconds remain here, do. And that's another opportunity for Dan Benna to go to the line. He's knocked down the first two very easily. And he's going to, uh, the technical fouls, he knocked down them both very easily. And now it sets him to the line, shooting two. Shooting two and has 13 points. He's shooting right in front of the West Shirt student section. And he misses. And misses. And we mentioned earlier, the student section rather vocal here at West York behind the one net. And a scramble for the ball. Jalen Franklin picks it up. Dribbles between players. Gets the ball out. And there's a timeout call. No, I'm sorry, there's a foul. A foul. Setting Jalen Franklin to the line. And that's my mistake. There's a That was a one and one. Once they get to 10 fouls, they're going to go ahead and shoot two. Double bonus. Sixteen points for Jalen. Jalen leading all scores with sixteen points right now. You can see on the scoreboard number fifteen for Susquehanna doing what he needs to do to secure the win for his team tonight. Misses the second. Dan, Dan Bennett Benna. with the rebound, and that's a jump ball. And West Shirts gonna retain possession. I'm sorry. Susquehanna Susky. is going to retain possession. Yeah, right I'm now, sorry. Susquehanna with the lead, 54-49, 36 seconds to go. And they got, West Shore has a foul immediately. And there it is. And you called it, too. Sending number 33, Abbas Nidier, to the free throw line, the charity line. Abbas looking for his first points of tonight's game. These are big shots for the Warriors. And that's a big time miss. Shooting two shots, because they are in the double bonus with 10 fouls. And a timeout call. Nice fan base in here tonight, Todd. Yeah, a lot nice of fans route. came out. On a Wednesday night. And we thank you for tuning in tonight. We're watching in the comfort of your own home with your bottled water and popcorn and enjoying sports shooting stars. We do want to remind you we'll be back on the air this Friday as we travel to Dallas Town as they play host to the Spring Grove Rockets. Battle between the Rockets and Wildcats this Friday night. Our coverage will begin at 7.15 with tip-off scheduled for 7.30. Please join us this Friday with sports shooting stars as we bring the game to you. Also, I'd like to take the moment to thank our sponsors, the Viking Club right here in West York, Prestige Motor Cars of York, Parma's Pizza of Dallas Town, Dean's Auto Plaza, Integrity First Home Buyers, and S3 Performance Training, all sponsors of Sports Shooting Stars and tonight's game between Susquehannock and West York. Thirty-four seconds remain. Abbas Nidier back to the free throw line. The junior. And this is a big time free throw right yeah, now. This is a big shot for him, yes. And looking for his first point tonight. And gets it. Barely goes in. Right now, Westrick has to move the ball quickly. Get the ball down the court. Move quickly. Get your shot up. And there's a the shot right out. there. There's a three at point attempt off the rim. Jalen Franklin with the rebound. And you kind of feel like the writing's on the wall a little bit oh, right now. Jalen Franklin is, is pretty much, you know, steering his team to a victory by going to the free throw line and knocking these down. And he's been doing that. He did that last game against uh, well, York Suburban. We were, we were at York Suburban. We, Jalen Franklin, who then was our player of the game. And right now, Jalen Franklin. Looking to add to his point total. Already has 16 points. Make it 17. <laughs> a 
a thousand point scorer, Jalen Franklin. And he knocks him down so smoothly and calmly. And really that's... gives him 18 points in tonight's yeah. contest. And a three point temp. And, and that's a nice shot. By Jaden Walker. And Jaden Walker is not giving up at all. That's a nice three pointer from Jaden Walker. Didn't waste any time, got the ball in rhythm and knocked it down. 14 points for Jaden Walker for West York. And that's a full timeout. And pulls timeout. West York within five points, 57-52. Yeah, I want to remind the fans, don't go anywhere. It's, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty exciting here, the final 20-some seconds here at West York High School. Also want to remind our fans, uh, if you're planning to watch Sports Shooting Stars, next Tuesday we'll be traveling to Central York High School as the York High Bearcats invade Central York High School in a Division I matchup. Of course, that will be taking place next Tuesday with Sports Shooting Stars. And again, we have another commercial break. Let's uh, thank our sponsors, Integrity First Home Buyers, S3 Performance Training, Prestige Motor Cars of York, Parma's Pizza of Dallastown, Dean's Auto Plaza in Hanover, and the Viking Club right here in West York, a long throw away. If you want to catch uh, a meal there, maybe post game tonight after the game, check them out. The Viking Club right here in West York, a sponsor for tonight's broadcast, and we thank them for jumping on board. West York hit that quick three, five point game. And you really want to deny Jalen Franklin from getting the ball. He had a quiet <laughs> game, but in the fourth quarter, he's been very dominant. And every time he's been to the line, he's been knocking it down. Yeah, and And that's his first miss from the first free throw miss, line. Yeah, with 16 seconds to go. If you want to put the ball in someone's hand for Susky, it would definitely be Jalen Franklin. Giving West York some breathing room. He makes up for it there, dude. 19 points. Still want to get a good shot. And a steal by Jalen Franklin. And, and I think Jalen can kind of taste it, as does his teammates here, that uh, they may be on the brink of issuing West York their first loss here, too. Yeah, and West York has tonight. nothing to keep their head down about. They played a very competitive game. Um, from what I've been told, a lot of their players are off this game. But, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to Susquehanna. You know, they're on the two – this is their second game that we filmed, and, you know, they're a stout team, very um, conditioned and com very composed at the line, as you can see. And that's how they beat – uh, missed again, but that's how they beat yeah. uh, York Suburban, going to the line and knocking down those free throws in the clutch moments. And that gives Jalen Franklin 20 points. And all West Shore can do at this point is just rebound, you know, swipe it off by tomorrow. You know, it's just a game. And, you know, and get back they still it, have yeah. a great record. And they're still in first place in Division Two. Nice drive, and a steal, two and points. A put in. And that's the final. That's the final. It's your final and your score. Susquehanna 59, West York 54. Another close game. Hard fought. And uh, Susquehanna, Susquehanna pulls a, a win, win out. For them, a statement win for them. That moves Susquehanna to six and three. And Jalen Franklin led all scores with 20 points tonight. And West York will pick up their first loss tonight. They'll move to 10 and 1, still atop Division 1 or Division 2. But uh, boy, I tell you what, dude, uh, a big win here for Susquehannock. Again, the final score Susquehannock 59, West York 54. And I do, is there any question for you? I mean, your thoughts in terms of a player of the game for Susquehanna? Well, I think the player of the game for Susquehanna can easily be uh, Jalen Franklin and also Dan Benna. I know Jalen Franklin was our player of the game last week. Um, we're we're going to go ahead and talk to him again. This time it'll be, uh, you know, to support his uh, teammate, Dan Benna. 
I believe that should be our player of the game. Um, he did a lot for them in the fourth quarter when they extended that run and you help him give that lead. But, you know, Jaden Franklin being the guy he is, he helped secure that win by going to the line and getting those big time steals. So we'll be talking to both those players and as well as the coach. Right? We didn't get a chance to talk to the coach last yeah, time. we did not. So um, we will this time. Dan Benna with 13 points. You mentioned it earlier, Do Jalen Franklin with 20 points. And uh, we're going to get a chance to talk to the head coach, Andy Shilo of Susquehannock as well. A big win, a, a statement win for Susquehannock tonight. And... Uh, we're going to make our way, Duke Jones and yours truly, going to make our way down to the hardwood and uh, talk to the player of the game. And uh, at this rate, do uh, it's it's been Susquehannock may want us back again. How about it, do? <laughs> I mean, we're we may be since we've been broadcast. Yeah, we've been broadcasting games, and we'll mention something to this to the team down on the hardwood floor there. Uh, Well, we make our way down here to the hardwood floor, jumping rails and getting down here on the hardwood floor as the fans exit the gymnasium here at West York High School. We're again, Susquehannock with a big win here tonight, knocking off the undefeated West York Bulldogs. Do uh, with one of his younger fans hey, here on the. All right, it's my niece right here. Right. She may want to play here, do. I see you later, okay? It's a family affair here. How about it, do oh, your niece? Family here, is. and uh, good to see everybody out here tonight again. And we'll be interviewing Dan Benna, who had 13 points tonight. Dan Benna. I'm gonna double check and we see who they voted for. J Jalen Franklin had 20, 20 points tonight in a big win by Susquehannock. 59-54 over West York as we made our way down here to the midcourt level. Uh, RB's off to the sides here. Do or you gotta uh, let me talk, I'm, I'm gonna get the coach for one second. Okay, we're gonna get the coach and you, you and Dan Benna uh, right there. And Dan, yeah, why don't you get Dan Benna out here? I've been being joined by Jan. Dan, hey, congratulations, uh, Jalen Franklin. But Dan, come on over here. I, Todd Edwards uh, with kind of like co-player of the game. Congratulations, Dan. I mean, a big game. Jalen Franklin with 20 points. You, you, Dan Benna, 13 points. Your thoughts again uh, on a big win knocking off West York. Uh, it was a tough, hard-fought game. It just feels so good to get that dub. When they were undefeated coming in, we were really excited. Definitely had this one circled on the calendar. So they come up with a win like this, man, it feels great. And, Dan, your thoughts, uh, 13 points tonight, a big effort from you tonight as well. It just it feels good. Like he said, we marked this one on the calendar for a while now. Coming in as a team, we worked hard together and just came out as a team with the dub. So it feels good. Yeah, knocking off the undefeated West York Bulldogs, you guys now move to six and three. What's on your plate next, Jalen? Uh, eat, uh, who play Friday? Canada. Canada Friday, rival game at home. That, that's next. next well, on to the next one. encourage the fans of Susquehannock to come out and see them. A big home game on your home court, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, like I said, looking at the live chat, man, um, you know, Jalen, you did a great job securing the win, but Dan Bennett, you did a great job helping extend that lead when you guys got that 13-point lead. Very aggressive. I called you the X Factor out there, man. You do a little bit of everything. You're kind of, you know, underneath the radar a little bit, but when they sleep on you, man, you make them pay for it, man. So you had a really good game, and we want to give you a player of the game shirt. Player of the game shirt. I know, Jalen, you know, we've we been kind of a, no bit doubt, of a no good doubt. luck for this team. If you I mean, mind, you're 2-0 like since we've been broadcasting for you. Hey, we're live, we're live on TV, so. Player of the game last Friday at York Suburban. Tonight, Dan Benna, big 13 point. Yeah, why don't we get some pictures If you don't mind here. putting the shirt on, bro, appreciate that. If you want to say it. We we'll give a shout out to anybody win. that's watching yeah, down there. Yeah, anything you'd like to say to your friends and fam uh, family that are watching. Man, shout out to my guys, man. We work so hard for this. How about you, Dan? Anything you'd like to say? I mean, yeah, same thing. Shout out to my guys, man. Just trusting in God, man, and seeing the plans go through. Feels good. Feels good. No doubt. Okay, no doubt. let's take a couple let's pictures get a real pick quick, in guys. Here with the, the winning team here. All 
There right, we appreciate go. Appreciate that. Safe travels, guys, and uh, again on to another victory. Yes, take yeah, care. Yeah, we should see you guys again. Play another game. Good job, right, good Dan. job, man. Good Way to secure the win. Great job out there, man. No doubt. See you guys later. Dan Benna, Jalen Franklin, uh, no strangers to the success here of what we do. I told them two and zero since we've been broadcasting their games, do. And yeah. They no may doubt. want us to come down to Suski yeah, uh, this coming weekend. How about it? Yeah, they're having a good a good year so far, man. Yeah, like great. I said, uh, you know, they're creeping up on that division two. I mean, six and three. I think that's a good a good record for them. And like I said, you know, you can't go by the records all the time because, as you can see, an undefeated team just got beat by yes. a five and three team. So you know, it's very it's competitive. why they play the games, right? And uh, that's why we we thank the fans and our sponsors for tuning in tonight as we are coming to you from. West York High School. We'll be back this Friday as we travel to Dallas Town, dude. Looking forward to it. Spring Grove and Dallas. Yeah, be Spring. I'm, excuse, I'm sorry. Spring Grove versus Dallas Town, which should be a really good game. Another matchup. Two teams we haven't seen yet this year. Um, you know, so uh, it'd be really interesting. I know there's a lot of scores around the league, so we'll, you know, what's happening in that. But now, you know. Division one, Division two is starting to take shape a little bit. You can kind of see what team is going to be at the finish line. And, and again, there is county playoffs this year. And, and we're going to be also, part of it. Yep, there's also a Boys and Girls Championship. So, Looking forward to it. And, uh, again, we thank our sponsors tonight's broadcast. We thank you, the fans, for tuning in to Sports Shooting Stars. Do follow us on our Facebook page and Instagram at Sports Shooting Stars. Again, we'll have a big game this Friday at Dallas Town. And, of course, next Tuesday, the York High Bearcats will travel to Central York. We'll have that Division I matchup taking place next Tuesday. A big week, a big broadcast week with Sports Shooting Stars. Oh, we're joined by Coach Shilo here. Uh, welcome, Coach. A uh, big win. Uh, talk, talk to the viewers a little bit about what went into the game plan tonight against this undefeated West York team. You know, we knew that they were tough offensively and defensively, but especially defensively. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we were able to counteract some of that. Off defense, off for us defensively, we needed to keep them off the boards. So we talked and looked a lot about the, the board preparation. Um, and yeah, they got some offensive rebounds, but I thought we did a pretty good job controlling the board situation, given how, how intense they are. Um, yeah, we thought it was a really good job with the time of possession. When you guys had the ball, working to get the good shot. Once you had the lead, it's very hard to get, you know, take the lead away from you if you're not trying to shoot the ball. And I think that's a really good strategy you guys did, especially in the second half. Yeah, I appreciate that. No, and we've been working a lot on that. You know, we, we like to play fast. We like to get up and down. But there's a time and place whenever you play the really good teams that you have to be able to control the, control the basketball. Um, and so I thought our guys did a really good job of keeping composed in uh, some of those different moments. Um, you know, and we got got a couple young guys, a couple old guys that mixed in well together. And it helps to have a thousand point score like Jalen Franklin. <laughs> Absolutely, it does help with that. You know, you know, Jalen's a lot of times thinking the same thing I'm thinking of. So, um, it's a special win for these guys. You know, this is a game we, we've circled since since March, yeah, since our season ended. And on to Kennerdale, back to your homewood uh, home home court. So remind, fans, come on out to see see Susquehanna on their home court. This yeah. Friday. And, and they're starting to turn the lights out on us, but we want to give a big shout out. It was a team effort, but Dan Benna was our player of the game. Um, you know, Jalen Franklin did a great job securing the win, going to the free throw line, a, a crucial steal towards the end of the game to kind of secure the win. But Dan Benna was our player of the game tonight. And last game against your suburban, it was Jalen Franklin. So, you know, you guys have a really stout team, man, well coached. And, uh, you know, we want to keep an eye on you guys yes. throughout the year. Hey, all the best, coach. I appreciate thanks it. For, I thanks appreciate for anything you need, let me know. All right, sounds, sounds good. good. Hey, yep. you want to say hi to anybody that's anybody watching? You know what? I say hi to my son and wife. They're probably watching right now, but I appreciate everybody. Come out Friday night, 730. All right, sounds good. Thanks Heard a lot, Coach. from the Great coach. Job. All the best. And Craig, they're starting to turn coach the lights Sheila. out on us, Todd. So I think they're kind of telling us to exit stage It's time left. to go. Well, we thank you, the fans and sponsors again, for everyone watching tonight. And we'll be back this Friday with Sports yep. Shooting Stars. For and Todd Edwards. Less than 48 hours. We'll be back, yeah. on, back on the TV from Todd Edwards and Du Jones. Have a good night. See ya.